Hey AAP. Oh hey sis. I have no clue what to write in the discussion section. Relax. I know it's the most difficult part to write in a manuscript, but if I can do it without caffeine and crying, so can you. Start with a brief recap of your major findings, but don't just paste your results section. Keep it crisp. And yes, some journals discourage summaries, so check their guidelines first. Next, tell the readers what your results mean. Relate your findings with the existing literature. Mention the studies that support your findings. Also mention the studies that contradict your results. Don't just share their findings. You can also mention the context and the point of view of other studies. Suggest reasons for your results. Why do you think you got these findings? Offer logical explanations based on context, theory, or even human behavior. Acknowledge limitations. Be honest. No study is perfect. Mention anything that could have affected your results, like small sample size, bias, methodology constraints, or even lack of funding. An important tip: Do not stretch your conclusions beyond what your data supports. Stay humble. Say what your results apply to and what they don't. And remember, always end your discussion section with future recommendations. What should researchers do next? What questions still remain unanswered? This will show that you are thinking ahead, not just wrapping up. See how we didn't just discuss results? We ended up with a satisfying way forward that keeps the research conversation going. So basically, it's like explaining my results to a smart friend with trust issues. Um, can you explain with an example as well? Yes, I can. Subscribe now and watch out for my next video.